Carl Basai's third installment of his familial trilogy is a comedic look into the lives of four sets of siblings. Brimming with affection, hostility, and a healthy dose of guilt, it's a rich and gratifying journey through family love and dysfunction. Here, man, in Los Angeles. I don't know, man. Like, who do I gotta take care of now? You're taking care of, take care of mom. Who knows well, where the f dad okay. is? Well. You know, everybody seems to be taken care of. So, like, let's just keep doing these things. Let's, you know what I mean? Like, you you seem to have this on lockdown. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. You're watching Canadian Film Review on Press Plus One. We're at Landmark Cinemas Globe Theatre in Calgary. I'm Trevor Alberts, and I'm Kinda Mardambe. And today we're going to be reviewing. Sisters and Brothers by Carl Basai. So this is the third of a trilogy um, exploring family relationships. Yeah, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. This one's a Sisters and Brothers. Carl Basai's films always remind me a bit of, of Woody Allen movies, <laughs> right? Yeah. They're uh, like these vignettes of different people going about their daily lives um, who have a lot of interesting interpersonal issues, let's say. Um, I don't mind stories being very self-contained, but I think it would have been very nice to have seen a, a couple of the characters crossing paths or to get from one story to another. But I, I thought it worked. We spent just enough time with each vignette before moving on to the next one that we kind of had like a, a three-act play within each of those vignettes before we moved on to the next one. And it was kind of surprising almost when that happened. Mm -hmm. And I thought the comic book transitions that, I that, like that he used lot. were kind of fun. And there was a lot of comedy in this film. And really, it was down to the performances that really made that happen. Um, Gabrielle Miller, known as from her corner gas fame, uh, she did a fantastic job of playing this sister who's taking care of this schizophrenic brother. And so she plays more of a mother figure as well as a sister figure. So I thought she brought an amazing amount of complexity to the performance. Absolutely. And then we've got Corey Monteith, who's probably the biggest star power. Well, definitely the biggest star power in the film now, thanks to Glee. Mm -hmm. And I bought him in the role of a Hollywood actor. <laughs> Did so you? So that was very believable, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Gabrielle Rose, I'm going to throw her name in there as well. She plays the, the mother of a, of, a, of a teenage daughter who is uh, who is outrageously bad. And then she discovers this illegitimate child that she had many years ago, turns up on her doorstep, and she's from India. There was enough. Um, interpersonal conflict and drama that I, um, in, in each of the stories that I kind of thought that they all rounded each other out fairly well. I gave this film two stars out of five. Now I, I love Carl Basai's work. He did a film previously called Repeaters which used a lot of the same cast for that film that he's used in this film. Um, I was just really excited after Repeaters to see where he was going next and it just to me it felt felt a little bit like a fallback. I didn't get the, the sense though watching it that it was belabored or, or done off the cuff. I thought that he still put just as much heart and soul into it as the previous ones. How many stars did you give this? I gave it a four. You gave it four um, stars. Just because, and actually, I didn't have any expectations going in. I thought that he might do something different, but I wasn't sure what. Mm. And what I saw, I thought was, was unique and interesting and captivating. And I actually appreciated the way that the stories were were disjointed and kind of separated into their own little pieces. You can head on over to the Canadian film section on Press Plus One and read our reviews of Sisters and Brothers. We want to hear what you have to say, so leave a comment. And we want to know what was the last great Canadian film you watched.